This video will basically show you how to take a Jazz DV178 HD digital camcorder and turn it into a pretty nice little uh, IR capable camera to pick up infrared light. Um, any infrared light source after this mod is done will, will allow the camera to pick up almost like night vision. Um, it's limited by distance a little bit but it, it actually is, makes some pretty good video uh, considering the cost of the camera. First thing you need to do is pop off the battery cover and underneath it you'll see the battery. Just go ahead and remove the battery and on the left side near the center just above the jazz label you'll see a single screw there. Just take a small Phillips head screwdriver just uh, back it out and that's the only screw on that side that you need to worry about. On the front of the camera you'll see a bezel on the, on the front there. It's solid black. You just need to take a small screwdriver and, and peel it up gently. It's just basically glued onto the front with some adhesive tape um, and underneath it you'll see two screws uh, just go ahead and remove those screws and those are the screws on the front of the front of the camera case on the back do the same thing there's a bezel around the switches just take a small screwdriver and just pry up gently around it uh, it's really easy to break it if you're not careful and then just set the bezel aside um, pretty much all you need to do on the back side of the camera and on the top, where the speaker cover is, it says glued on as well with adhesive tape. Just go ahead and pry up on that and um, pop it off and set it to the side. And once you have that done, you can pretty much pop open the tabs on the front and the back of the camera uh, to get into. The lens is pretty straightforward. It's a macro lens with two spring adjusted screws um, that allow it to rotate. All you really got to do is just pull off the two screws. Make sure you don't lose the springs when you do it. Um, just unscrew these two screws you see here at the front of the screen, uh, front of the uh, sensor, and once you do that, the floating barrel assembly, which contains the lens, will pop out as you see here. Um, once you pop that out, all you really got to do is flip it over, and once you flip it over, you'll see on the inside a, a ruby or red-colored filter. That's it on top. Now, I suggest you to put a piece of tape over it because what you're going to do is crack it out. All you do is tape over it with some masking tape, then gently press down with a screwdriver or exacto knife and bust the lens. It's a real small thin lens. It uh, doesn't take much. All you got to do is pop it out and then remove the pieces. Now that's pretty much it on the lens mod. Once you got that IR cut filter out, the camera can now pretty much pick up IR light. Um, just go ahead and reassemble the, uh, the lens barrel back onto the lens base. Put your screws back in along with the springs. Make sure you put the springs in or else you won't be able to keep it focused well. Now once back together the camera can pretty much now pick up any IR light. Um, it works best around IR LEDs or emitters that are around 850 uh, nanometer wavelength. Um, it will pick up 940 which is the totally invisible IR light but it, it doesn't pick it up real well. Um, this is an array I make myself just to test with the camera. Um, I can pick up about 30 to 40 feet with it with no problem. Um, here's some video I took that basically shows a lot out to the side. Those two trees in the middle are about 60 to 70 feet away. Now I do have the uh, jazz set to night shot mode so it picks up a little better. It slows the frame rates down a bit but it does improve the uh, distance it can pick up with our light pretty good. Now you got to remember when you're looking at this video here, the human eye is not seeing any of this light. It looks totally black to the human eye. So that's pretty much how you make a Jazz 178 into a night vision camera. Thanks.